Hey, it's Brigzar. In this video, we're going to be opening a sealed Lego set from 1995, as promised. It is the Bear Sealand truck. There are two different versions of the stickers on this truck. I don't know which one it is. I'm assuming it's going to look like that. So, we're going to open this. I'm going to be possibly decreasing the value of this set. I don't know. I don't care. Lego is meant to be open and to be built, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to show it to you in this video. All right, here we go. Just go ahead and show you all sides of it before I open it. There's what the back of it looks like. It has the little tape seals on either end. So I imagine this is one of those boxes you can fold flat once you get both sides open. Back of it shows you alternate models you can build. So let's just open one side of it. The moment of truth here. I could take a blow dryer and maybe unsticky it, but we're not going to worry about that. Alright, so there we go. Oh, it's got a box on the inside. So this one is like the old 90s style. So since this is the first time this has been opened, I'll get you to see what it looks like, how they packaged it. You got the old air hole bags. Here is the sticker sheet. I think I'll take a scan of that maybe before I build it. Looks like they put the plates separate. Instructions are nice. And there is the catalog. So they put all your plates not in a bag there. So you got three bags. The plates, the stickers, and the instructions. So we'll get some pictures of all these. Alright, so I went and made a scan of the sticker sheet since I'll be messing that up. We're going to see what the catalog looks like. It's a little mini catalog. has some classic stuff here. Space Shuttle. Awesome. Sorry I sound sick because I am sick. We have that Space Shuttle. Pretty cool. And then the back. Monorail was still available. Pirates. Castle. Train. Technic. Awesome. So that is the little mini catalog. It does say 1995 on it. Fold this thing back up. Throw it in there. And now we'll begin building it. Uh, oh, it opens this way. Which way does this thing open? Like that. Alrighty, so let's build it. Oh, before I get to building it, uh, this is a 20 year old set, so I do want to see what the tires look like. Because usually the petroleum or oil or whatever it is they make these tires with, they usually have kind of a greasy feel to them. Now these are actually aren't that bad. Uh, others that I've opened, they just they look almost wet from where the it had deteriorated over the years. But this is looking pretty good. So I'm going to dump everything out and then we'll do a time lapse on the build. Okay, we have finished the truck except for the all-important step of putting the stickers on. There's the four stickers that go on, well two on each container, and then there's the one little star sticker that goes there. Those are the only stickers, so it looks like you got one extra star sticker on the sticker sheet. But before we get to that, I'll show you one thing I love about this truck, uh, other than it falls apart real easy. We'll take the container part off. The cab actually has a five wide build to it. They use the jumper plates here. To, they're under this two by, that's a two by three and under there is three jumpers. So you get the half stud off set. I really like that. I have not seen that in a lot of the trucks that we've built. So you got five wide there. There's four wide here, five wide there. So that's a pretty neat little detail. 
uh, going on there. They did not give you any like license plates. It's just a blank for there and there. And uh, um, yeah. Right, and here's your containers and the flatbed trailer for those. Um, so you got the doors on this end. They're supposed to open out. There they go. So that's the way those look. And the sticker will cover these three panels like that. So either side will be different, I guess. Or will it? The big, the M will be there. The M will be there. So yeah, there's two different configurations. So it's probably hard to find these used. Uh, you'd buy, basically have to buy the whole container because if you take it apart, uh, those stickers will get damaged. So we're going to put those stickers on and then show you that. I'll first show you the trailer. It's got the little wheel thing there. Got the shovel and the broom. These are connected by little pins. No, that part's not like that. Hold on. Hold that. That's how they connect the wheels. They go in these little Technic plates like so. So it gives it kind of a, it's not completely free, but it, it's got a little wiggle to it. And this came off again. So he's got a shovel and his broom under there. And that little piece comes up, kind of sits up kind of high, if you ask me. But the tr it needs to, to get that over. That's why it goes up so high. So then you let it down. It falls into that little hole. And he goes. So it's got a kind of a slope, even when it's going. It's not completely level. Now that's kind of weird. I guess, that, is that the way a real truck does? But pretty neat. So now let's put the stickers on. All right, here comes the part that I hate the most, putting the stickers on. We'll try this little one first. Oh boy. No fun. I think it goes there. Can't even see, uh oh. All right, whoops. Now we'll try the containers. Center it up with that one by four brick there. <coughs> I don't feel like they got very much sticky stickiness to them. But it's stuck. Do this one. Yeah, I probably could have sold the sticker sheet. Oh, let's try it this way. But, what's the fun in that? Oh, so hard. There's hardly any stickiness to these stickers. They'll probably be easy to take back off. I think the glue's deteriorated over the 20 years. Uh, not too, too terribly bad. Alright, last container. This is so exciting. I know you're just enjoying watching this. really hate putting stickers on. Oh man, I can't get that one to go level. The fingerprints are all over this piece now. Brickzar did it. Not perfectly level, but oh well. So I think, what's the best way of doing it? You need to put the doors to the outside like that. Is that how you should do it? That's the way we'll do it. So you got the one extra sticker there. Well, that is a beautiful Lego truck. We're glad to add it to our collection and have it finally built. Uh, the Maersk blue colors are not available anymore, but there's not a lot of them. Uh, in this set, some one by two bricks, the door, the door, probably the doors in this little wedge piece are probably the most expensive pieces and then trying to find the stickers. There are people that sell uh, custom stickers where they've taken scans of them and made their own sticker sheets. 
I know there's a seller on eBay that actually sells these stickers, but these are the original stickers, what they look like. And so also be careful when you are looking for things like that on eBay because there are so many people selling uh, those that it, um, you might think you're buying original stickers and you're not. But i just let you know that. So beautiful truck. We'll put the truck driver inside the truck. He does not have a coffee cup like truck driver. Truck, truck drivers of today. Okay, there we go. Awesome. Love this Lego truck. Great. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it the thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. If you like vintage Lego, we've done a lot of vintage Lego reviews and we talk about it all the time. So be sure to subscribe for that. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter as well. Links are in the description below. Uh, leave a comment. What do you think about this set? And do you think I was stupid for opening it? And there are a lot of reasons to call me stupid. But anyway, I opened it. I'm glad I opened it. Tell me what you think. We'll see you in the next video. Rick's up.